Okay, you heard, you see it. Overwatch 2 PvE. People have been making the rounds of it, of course. It's all said and done. They're supposed to have a roadmap, but you know what that looked like, which I'm going to show you right here. That uh, <laughs> guy's been putting out, man. This is supposed to uh, pearl people with the roadmap. And they got story mode right here, but it's pretty much watered down and all that other bullshit. But uh, yeah. It says new tank hero, new collaboration events, new control map, new winter event. This is so goddamn weak. And I mean, like, real weak. Like, this, <laughs> if this is a roadmap to something, I don't know. It's weird. It's fucking weird, man. You got reworked Roadhog. And you got Zombra reworked. What the hell that supposed to mean? <laughs> Yo, guys, this is gonna rework this road, bro. We're gonna rework your road hog. So you're gonna fuck you up even less. And we're gonna fuck up Zombra so she can fuck you up even less. Yeah, that's gonna make it fun, right? <laughs> Who are you helping? Who are you helping, Blizzard? What, what are you? What are y'all doing, man? What, what are you doing? You? What you set out you was going to do. Yes. Developing shit kit is hard as fuck. Things can get, you know, time consuming and all that other bullshit. Just get more better people to hire, man. Scared to hire people or something else going on. You know what I'm saying? Something else, something else going on behind the scenes. Cause it's very odd to call yourself Overwatch 2 and your main marketing ploy was is it's gonna be a straight co-op story. <laughs> like every time I see companies do this, I always think of Anthem. I just always think of Anthem. Like if they don't show you a, a good amount of gameplay and not put it in your hands after that, then the game is trash, in my opinion. Just for, for for the record, in my opinion, the game is trash. If you if you do stuff like this, not Overwatch two, not Overwatch two entirely, because it's literally Overwatch one reworked pretty much. But you can't have Overwatch two with it being the same goddamn game and there's no story <laughs> or no story missions, quote unquote. <laughs> You know, who you fooling? Who you fooling, Blizzard, man? Who you fooling, man? I feel like they did this. They had this thing worked out in the long run. I feel like this is pre-baked in the system. It's just that they were just like, oh, my God, it's time consuming. This this is time consuming. This is time consuming. And they were like, no, let's just scrap the, let's just scrap, let's just scrap it. Let's just scrap it, man. Fuck it. You just got to deal with the online stuff. Because that's when they would see that money. You see that damn money? Nee. That's where they see that money in skins and the little other limited time events, quote unquote. <laughs> These guys full of it, man. Full of it. Like I said, any company that does this or so-called promise you stuff without showing you and even out putting it, delivering it in your hands. Or foremost and foremost, like a like a quick test, you know, like they did, like they did a promotion for, like, oh, this is gonna be part of the story. Here's a here's a co-op event bullshit. Here you go, guys. This is for uh, the streamers and other people that played it. And they throw, they think you make they make you think what's gonna happen, and then they scrap that from the, from the streamers, and for you to even get your hands on to the test or whatever the fuck. Yeah, your company. Yeah, something's going on behind the scenes. I that's what I think. Truly, I think something's really else is going behind the scenes that made them scrap, made them scrap this bullshit. Like this is nothing to get hyped over. Like none of this really is nothing hyped about. Like a lot of people been through stuff like this in any other game. <laughs> Matter of fact, you could play any other game and get this plus story mode. <laughs> you know. 
So next Overwatch, it looks like just a, a dying game really, really coming down to it. There's no story mode. There's story missions, quote unquote. There's nothing else beyond this right here. And this, this, there's nothing to get hyped over. <laughs> it's limited time. It's nothing to hype over limited time. This might be fun. All this rest of this shit is trash to me. Vertex, competitive, mystery, curse. It's damn about it. Literally, you can mod. I feel like people that mod stuff can literally do 90% of this. <laughs> With a custom game event. Just straight up. Like, yeah, custom game event. All Zombras, all Ferris fight each other for a quick time event and it boosts XP or some shit. But it's, but it's, uh, it's limited because of, uh, Freaking Blizzard, <laughs> Blizzard event or something like that. You know, it's just yeah, nothing get hyped up. Crash. Like I said, any game that promise you and doesn't deliver a demo or a test or some beta test to show it that they were doing it or they want the fans to, in their, in their hands, like a Capcom mm -hmm, with Resident Evil uh, Four, Resident Evil Four. You know. Yeah, exactly. Prime, yeah, prime example. Resident Evil Four literally had a, a where was it? A, a showcase, right? And they were showing all the little games and other stuff that they got coming, and what was showing later. And at the end of the thing, they knew you was looking for Resident Evil Four uh, gameplay, and then they showed that gameplay, right? And then what happened after they showed that gameplay? Oh, this is this is the demo coming at certain this date or the next day of or something like that. You know, I think it was like a few days later. I think or maybe that day. Oh, whatever. Anyway, they released the demo and they put it in the fans' hands. For all systems, <laughs> and I I was one of the first people to, that played the demo, and it ran goddamn smooth. I was like, what the fuck? Why can't no other companies do this? And then what happens after that? A couple of uh, weeks later, Final Fantasy. Let's, let's show us gameplay off of this game. And what they do, they show off a whole ton of bullshit gameplay. That was fucking amazing to look at. <laughs> it was fucking amazing. It was not just like 30 minutes. No, this shit was like almost damn an hour, two hours of gameplay footage. And they was going in detail what you gotta do and stuff. I'm like, okay, y'all trying to spoil it a little bit, goddamn. But I get it. People get it. And the game looks like it's gonna be fucking fun to play. But if also, if you're not really good, if you're not really good at it, we got they got another thing for you to focus focus straight gameplay with just one button press. And it was like, oh my god, what the fuck? You know, why the hell? <laughs> Why the hell a lot of companies cannot do this? This is literally should be the standard for gaming now, then, and forever. Like, why did people for some reason thought about, let's just put, put out a, a half-baked game, let everybody else be the beta testers of it, which is why you have a freaking test uh, thing to begin with, if you didn't you know, know that. Open test, open beta test to begin with, you know? You did that, but anyway... You do that and then you know cover that you fix and squeak the servers or whatever the hell you got to do behind the scenes to fix uh glitches or lag or anything like that that may, may breaks your game pretty much in the long run <laughs> and then the game comes out or the event so-called limited time event <laughs> or story missions but uh yeah yeah blizzard you're fucking up and any other companies that does this, they keep promising stuff like this and showing you have bait. Just think of uh, Anthem. That's all I gotta say. Think of Anthem. You be good to go. <laughs> that 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 that'll stop your uh, hype real quick. Just think of Anthem, the game. <laughs> From EA.